Happy Friday, my creative stampers. How are you? Hello, Luana. How are you, darling? Oh my goodness. So happy it's Friday. And I have this really fun uh, treat holder for you all to make today. Um, my daughter yesterday called and said, do you have something we can do with the boys? And my grandsons are uh, four and six. And last year, the paper pumpkin had really cute little boxes that we put together. But this year's paper pumpkin, we didn't have Halloween. So I thought, oh, I, I'm sure I could think of something. So this is what I came up with, this cute little trick, treat holder um, that we're going to make tomorrow or Sunday afternoon for the first day of October. <laughs> okay. Hey, Melanie and uh, Michelle. Good morning, you two. All right. Um, one more thing. Don't forget um, I already announced it, but I haven't sent out the email yet, but I will. Starting October 3rd, we are starting a joining special for the 35th anniversary of Stampin' Up! And um, it's a great time to join. So um, if you've ever thought about um, joining either for the discount and being a hobbyist and just purchasing from yourself or maybe doing what I do um, and selling the creative, uh, the um, Stampin' Up! products, <laughs> either online or personally. I mean, it, it's originally a party style uh, company. So you invite people uh, to a party and you make the cards and then you sell the card making products and it's a lot of fun. Okay. So that starts on October 3rd. All right, let's get to this. I'm going to switch angles here. Oh, and don't forget if um, you have a question to put it in the comments, but put like a question mark or something in front of it so I can see it. Okay. And remember the instructions for today's uh, treat holder are going to be on my blog, but if you want a downloadable, you need to be subscribed to my email. So um, anyways, I'll be sending that uh, the downloadable instructions uh, later today. So here's a couple of treats. So these are those uh, caramel apple pops. Uh, love these. I can't stop eating them. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, back to my comments. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, look at all these people who've popped up. Awesome. I love it. So we have in the house, um, Becky has joined us, Jean and Kim and Renee, Margaret, Cheryl, Joyce, Vicki, Mary, Tony, and, um, and Jan. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. First of all, um, I used an envelope punch board to make this. Now, if you do not have an envelope punch board, uh, two things. I'm going to show you how to make it without an envelope punch board after I make it with it. Um, and then second, I have a link to the We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board that I use um, in my on my blog. I have a page called must have tools and there's a link there uh, to an Amazon uh, place where you can get one if, if you don't have an envelope punch board, because it's something um, you really need if you're going to be a card maker, <laughs> if you can make your own envelopes. All right. Um, let's see. So here is uh, the punch board. Okay. Oh, and here's the treat holder. I forgot to show you the treat holder. So here's the treat holder. And I put a couple of lollipops in there. Okay. And we're using them bones or bag of bones uh, set. I love this stamp set. Oh my gosh. And the dies that come with it. The dies really make it like the cowboy boots and the uh, Tom Landry hat. And um, let's see the French hat, the top hat, the cane, the shoes, the dog, the cat, the hat. Oh my gosh. All these little bones. You can like cut out a bunch of little bones and sprinkle them, the moon, the stars. So many, a fence, grass, uh, so much. The tombstone, so many cool things. Oh, and a little guitar. Oh my God, how cute. All right. And then of course the sentiments are precious. No bones about it. You're a sweet friend. That's the one we're using today. There's also of course, traditional happy Halloween. Eat, shriek, and be scary. <laughs> Boo to you and bonjour. Bonjour, which is for the little French guy. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, one more thing. I am using this. Um, this is, uh, what is this? Countryside Corners. Um, this center one fits perfectly on No Bones About It, You're a Sweet Friend. So just FYI for that. All right, so that's what we're making. Now, what do we need? Okay, what do we need? We need a piece of six-inch designer series paper. So let me put that up in 
the instructions. Okay, here we go. And this is them bones. And if you haven't seen them bones paper, uh oh, I had it here. Ah, it is so cute. Oh, here it is. Okay. So uh, them bones paper. This is the one I'm going to use here. Um, and the back side. The back side is individual ones you can cut up. Um, then there's this and this. These are front and back. And then this is the front and this is the back. That's uh, this one I used right here. So I've already used that six inch paper. Uh, this is my favorite piece, this beautiful plaid. And the back side of it is little tombstones. Okay, and then we're back to the beginning. All right, so that is them bones. Okay, now how do you make this card? It is so easy. It's punch, score, punch, score, punch, score, punch. Only score three times. Punch four, score three. All right, that's all you got to do. So just remember that. And it's at the three inch mark all the way around. So it's really simple when you have an envelope punch board. Okay, back to the comments. Here we go. Okay, Tina loves it. She says, oh my, that's super cool. <laughs> okay, great. So you just put it at the three inch here, punch it, and then score it. And punch it. How many of you have an envelope uh, punch board? These are so awesome. Okay. And then now I can't talk and do the same time. So I've punched three times. I've scored three times. So that's my last score. I don't want to score again, but I do need to punch one more time. There we go. And then uh, one more thing, if you want the, this is the top where you did not score. This is the top. You can put it back here. Whoops get in the camera. The back side here has a corner rounder and you can corner round the top if you want, but you don't have to. Um, yeah, I did right there, uh, but you don't have to. Okay. So that is my base. Now I want my orange showing. So I'm going to flip it around and I'm just going to fold these in. Now, the way this is a easy for a four-year-old, you would do this part yourself. Um, and then what I'm going to do for my grandsons is I'm going to take tear tape. I'm going to have this cut out and I'm going to have this tear tape here. And so all they have to do is peel off the tear tape and stick it. Okay. So put that there and that there, and then you'll need one more um, on this little piece right here. Okay. All right. So that they'll get this piece when they come over. All right. And all they'll have to do is peel off these, um, these things here. And if they can't get it started, I'll get it started for them, but then they can peel that and peel that and that. All right. And so we do the, the two sides first. Okay. And you close those together. Then you bring this up and you close it right there and did all you are done. That's all there is to it, to the envelope treat holder. Okay. Now we decorate it. I have a one inch by eight and a half inch. Okay. So this is just the, the side of the, the piece of cardstock cut off at one inch. And again, I am going to, I'm going to have this for them and I'm going to have a piece of tear tape here on the end. Okay. Um, or they could glue it. Um, my six-year-old grandson could do glue. Um, a glue stick uh, would be good for a four-year-old. There we go. Unless you have a very super careful four-year-old. All right. So well, I shouldn't have taken that off yet because you want to wrap it first. Okay. And it, it really doesn't matter um, if you get it totally exact because you're going to cover it up with a circle. All right. There we go. All right. So that's on there now. So now you have your belly band. And I'm going to have all this cut out for them and I'm going to stamp it and cut it out for them too. Like I said, this is a, this is because we didn't have a paper pumpkin and paper pumpkin would come like this, except paper pumpkin, you would stamp this. And my six-year-old could stamp it. My four-year-old probably could stamp it also if I just helped them. Um, so I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. Um, they probably would like to stamp it, but I'll have this punched out. And this is just the uh, decorative circle punch that we have and the two inch circle punch that we have. Okay. So that's all this is. And they will. Um, so I'll just have the glue for them to glue this together. Or I can have the sticky tape on the back. Doesn't matter. All right. There we go. We got that. And then 
um, this is going to go at the bottom of the page. And I'm actually going to put these up on dimensionals. I love dimensionals and my grandkids do too. Okay. So they're just, whoops, came, the top came off before it came off the board. There we go. Like that. And like that. <laughs> Hello, Gail and Chris and Cheryl, Marine. Awesome. So happy to have y'all with us this morning. All right. No bones about it. You're a sweet friend. And now we're going to stick these guys on here. They're the cute little kitty cat. Oh my gosh. I love the kitty. Um, so I'm just going to put a dimensional on his chest because everything else is hanging off. So I'm just kind of put it at the side there. And then the little kitty needs tiny dimensionals. Just so little. Cute little kitty. Oh, I am ready to get some kittens. I uh, told my husband, you know, Merlin has been gone now for a while and I am really missing having a cat in my house. So um, I don't know when we'll do it pretty soon here, but go up to the Humane Society and get a couple of kittens. There we go. And then we're just going to glue that on and we're done. That's it. Okay. So just a fun easy little treat holder that your grandkids can make with you and they can give it to their friends. Okay, there we go. And then just stick a couple of lollipops or whatever treat you want to put in there. Ah, come here. There we go. Oops, the glue isn't quite dry yet. <laughs> it's moving around. Awesome. Okay, come on. There we go. So this was the one I made before. All right, so here the, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I keep getting out of the camera. I got to work, work on that. Okay. Uh, do we have any questions, you guys? Now, don't forget the, um, you know what? Okay, here was, I forgot to put the other pieces on there. I'm sorry. One inch by eight and a half inch cardstock for the belly band and the two scraps for the circles. Okay. Um, and that's it. That's all you need. That and decoration. So, like I said, I'm using bag of bones, but whatever you have, I mean, you know, if you just want to use stickers with the grandkids, they can put stickers on there, whatever. Um, but I think they'll really enjoy making this with you. Uh, what else? Oh, the downloadable. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. I'm going to show you how to do this if you don't have an envelope punch. punch. Ah. So um, let me do that real quick. All right. So that's what it looks like. Now, you want a, whoops. Okay. You want a six inch piece of paper. Okay. And I'm just going to do the basics. I'm not going to make a whole thing again. I'm just going to show you how to make the envelope again. Now you want these two um, measurements. You need, so you're going to mark it at two and five eighths. I forgot to type this in and three and three eighths. Or you can just turn it around and do Two and five eighths both times. Okay. And add that banner and now show it. There we go. All right. So we're going to on, on all four sides. Okay. So we need a ruler and we need some paper here and a pencil. And so we're going to come in here. Ooh, that is really hard to see on white. Hold everything. We're going to take away this paper <laughs> so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Need that over there. There we go. Okay. Ah, much better. Okay. And turn it aside so I can see better. Okay. So I'm going to line up my ruler and I'm going to two and five eighths. That's right past the two and a half, two and five eighths, and then three and three eighths. Okay. So I'm going to mark it there. Then I'm going to do it on this side. Okay. Two and five eighths, three and three eighths. And over here. And I'll have a picture of this on my blog and in the downloadable. Okay, so two and five eighths, three and one, two, three eighths. And one more time. Two and five eighths. Yeah, like I said, it's much easier with a uh, punch board, but okay. Now that I have this done, okay, we need to score it. So get out your scoring tool. 
okay? And we are going to connect the second mark across to the other second mark all the way around, okay? So the second, okay, that's, okay, the two outside marks, that's what I meant. The two marks that are closest to the points, yes. Yeah, I got a little checking, making sure I did this right. <laughs> okay, so from there to there, yes. All right, so these these two right there and right there. And now I'm using copy paper, so I can't press down too hard. But yeah, that's good. All right, and then these two, and we're going to go. Oh, and you only want to do three sides, okay? Even though we marked four sides, we only want to score three sides. Whoops. Okay, that one I pressed a little hard. Okay, and then this side. There we go. All right, there we go. Now, like this. we need a pair of scissors. And we got to cut out these corners. And uh, I found that, okay, so this is your top. Oh, you can't see the score lines very well. Anyways, I have score lines right here, score line right here. Okay. So these two are going to come in and this is going to come up. This is going to come up. And so I just need to cut on the score line, maybe a little inside the score line. But the other one, you need to kind of go at an angle. You really need to get some of that away. So if you cut on the score line like that, then come in and just cut a little bit more off. All right. And then here, if you cut on the score line and then cut just a little bit more off, it just helps when you fold these in for there to be more room for this to flip up. Okay. And then this side. And, and if you want to do a corner rounder, you can do that. Come here. And then like that. And there you go. You have the envelope without an envelope punch. <laughs> okay. Um, now that you definitely would have to do with your for you for your grandkids. That would be way too difficult for them. All right. Uh, Renee says, where did I get the envelope punch? Okay, Renee, it is We Are Memory Keepers. And I have a link on my blog under must have tools. And you can click, it's an Amazon link, or you could just go to Amazon yourself. Um, when you go to my link, I have to be up front. Um, I do get a small uh, commission for it. It's not very much. It's like a few cents. It's no big deal. But you don't get charged extra. Amazon just gives me some money for using them. All right. Um, but if you want this envelope punch that I used, we are memory keepers. I mean, you can get this at Michael's, Joann's. You can get it anywhere. Um I wish Stampin' Up! had one. We used to a long time ago, but we don't anymore. So anyways, good question. Anything else, you guys? Yes, Joyce, I'm going to get some kittens. I can't wait to see what they have, too. The, our Humane Society has a kitten room, from what I understand. I've never been there before. Oh, Allie's going to Dallas to see her husband. Allie, we are all praying for you and your husband. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and... I don't see anything else. Okay. Oh, Michelle has an envelope template. Okay. Well, Michelle, um, use the template that makes a envelope for a three by three card. Okay. That's, that's what it is. It's an envelope for a three by three card. So anything else? I'm not seeing it. Awesome. Okay. Nope. I'm not seeing any other questions or anything else. You all have a very blessed weekend and I will see you back Monday night for Monday night stamping. <laughs> Bye-bye you guys.